Xbox just to tag PlayStation and gamers are made. Oh no, but ladies and gentlemen, how you all doing? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new because guys, today we got a lot of sauce, okay? PlayStation is not stopping. We got the Xbox. Everybody's after Call of Duty, guys. This is all happening because of Call of Duty. And if truly we do not get a Netflix documentary made on this situation five years from now, 10 years from now, it should be early, but if you do not get that Netflix documentary, it's gonna be a missed opportunity. Guys, let's get into managed it. managed to piss off everybody across the gaming spectrum. Yeah. The diehard Sony fanatics, the PlayStation Sony ponies, are enraged, whereas the Xbox people seem to be tearing their hair out in frustration. Even head up... Uh, are you really, though? Are you really, though? Let me know. Oh, oh, are posting cringy memes. But I want to talk about all of that, that because is true. this that is, is true. just... I mean, this is insane. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. Hi. Hi. Hope Hi, you're having a great day. If you could like this video, video and subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already. Smash the like button and subscribe, guys. guys oh come my on, God. So yesterday, there was a very big legal court hearing about the future of the Activision Blizzard deal. Currently, the Microsoft president is over there in Europe discussing the idea as to whether or not this is even legally allowed. Can you spend $69 billion to purchase hey. World of Warcraft and Diablo and, of course, Call of Duty? Is this even something that will... It is all happening because of Call of Duty. And to understand the situation, guys... <laughs> Everybody gather around, okay? People, some of you even say that your Call of Duty is trash, it is shy, so I'm never gonna buy the game. But it is always the best selling game. Now, I, I gotta agree, okay? Hand on top of this bottle of water, guys. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 had a lot of potential, but can a brother get one new map? Obviously, they're saying that we're gonna be getting one new map. Bruh. But can a brother get two new, two new maps? Shut the f*** up they're doing the absolute bare minimum so when people say call of duty has gone down to toilet it has gone down to utter shiza i don't blame the men they are really turning the franchise into utter but playstation they do not think this way microsoft they want the entire deal x activision they legitimately want to sell the company so they can get rid of that and they can get a payday and they can get that golden parachute bobby kotix want to get that 400 million we got higher up uh, executives they want to get a payday and let's be real once they once this deal goes through and if this deal goes through they're gonna get their paycheck and they're just gonna piece the f out that's basically where it's at money talks guys destroy the gaming business well after they had those court hearings they immediately did a strange talk with the press now what we have here is a bunch of different articles from games industry Biz. We're gonna look at some very angry tweets from some mm. extremely pissed off gamers, but here's what I really think is important to start with. Pissed off gamers equal toxic gamers. So this is Bruh. Christopher Drain. He is the head of GamesIndustry.biz, and he says this. So here is my meanderings oh, wow. over the latest developments in the Microsoft Activision Blizzard saga. There's a lot of fluff and spin, but Microsoft may have done enough to convince EU regulators. The real challenge, and always, is the case that remains in the UK. Now, I decided to read this whole thing. The big crux <laughs> of this is that Microsoft is trying to pretend. I mean, you can believe them, you can tell them they're lying. You try to pretend, try to pretend. Strong, independent, they're not I yet, you are I mean, it's completely up to your discretion, but their whole happenstance now is they're trying to claim that in order to be a good business, business competitor, they need Call of Duty. Now, what they've decided to do is they've basically said everybody is now on board with the Activision deal. Xbox is directly claiming that them being able to buy Call of Duty and maybe make it exclusive here in 10 years or something like that. They're trying guys, to claim that- Guys, 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 pump the brakes, pump the brakes. Who you think? Who you think is gonna get the deal at the end? Because CMA is like, yo, Activision, uh, Activision, Microsoft, pump the brakes, okay? You cannot get Call of Duty. You you wanna buy Activision? You can have Activision, but in Call of Duty, just leave it alone, right? Because it's way too big. So what? People are complaining. So what? The toxic gamers don't wanna buy. We know a lot of the casual gamers will buy, so just leave that call of duty alone but microsoft rightfully they paid like 70 billion dollars guys if i paid 70 dollars man i want the entire package rightfully so microsoft is trying to persist they're trying to get the deal and sony guys like listen at the end of the day sony is doing their job they're gonna try their absolute best to try and cancel this deal this is how the mafia works damn it this Bruh. is how it works we got Sony trying to cancel this deal, Microsoft trying to persist, they're trying to acquire the deal. This is exactly how it works. And if you're someone that is uh, fighting over that, I mean, come on, man, like get your priorities straight. I know most of you are giga chads, you understand. Money talks, right? Money talks. It's all about that money. Activision want to get that money. Bobby want to get that parachute. Golden parachute might as well uh, add. 
it's bigger corporations, okay? Obviously, I'm not saying that we should not uh, talk about it. We should have our conversation. We should have our discussion. But to fight, I'm saying fellow gamers fight with other fellow gamers. Bruh, like, uh, bro. like, fellow gamers are fighting with fellow gamers. That's some of the dumbest thing ever, man. Sony ponies are fighting. The Xbox are fighting with their fellow gamers, man. That is such a low, man. I... I wish I was blind. I, I didn't want to see them. This man. will be better for the entire gaming industry because it will strengthen Microsoft. And surprisingly, here is the list of people who have agreed with that summation. You oh, have wow. Nintendo, NVIDIA, and Nintendo have both actually signed contracts now saying that Microsoft will put their games on their consoles going forward for the yep. next decade. Tencent has given the thumbs up and even Steam. <laughs> Um, it's kind of why Did they really though? Did Tencent really give that thumbs oh up? Oh well, They like to shove that thumb right up in their ass crack, bruh. Like, they, how can they even give a thumbs up? Like, I don't believe that. That is uh, factually wrong. wrong. That basically what they're trying to do here is Microsoft is really trying to say, hey, we want to catch up. We want to try and do our best. Like right here, this is a kind of funny way of phrasing it, but Xbox's uh, president said, right now, cross-platform is not fair. Microsoft has 58 games that are playable on PlayStation. Sony has two games that are playable on Xbox. We've said that if we get this acquisition goes through, we're happy to make sure there's a number 59 with Call of Duty and no doubt others. Now, this picture right here, I think is actually incredibly important. I found a less blurry Very version important. of it. Now, I think this is a little bit misleading and <laughs> purposefully so. I mean, they're trying to get oh, a $69 billion acquisition. He knows, he knows. Like, let's be real, guys. It's funny. It's it's funny. It's funny. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe right now. That's going to make them you know, hundreds of it's billions funny. of dollars in the future. If this gets approved, of course, they're going to fudge the numbers a tiny bit. It says uh -huh. European economic area market share as of 2022. So right here in Europe, PlayStation is 80%. Now, they don't explain whether this is. Guys, guys, this is such a wild, wild thing to do. Microsoft, they are a trillion dollar company. Stop defending that. But understandably, Xbox is smaller than PlayStation. Okay, that's facts, right? That is facts. But but this is wild, man. I mean, they're trying to play their their cards right. Eighty percent Sony pony and only twenty percent X bots. Uh, so they're definitely trying to play their cards right, and that's what they're trying to present. That guys, we're a small company. We need Call of Duty more than Sony, man. Sony, you you. I, I cannot say that word on YouTube. Console sales or software sales. Or profit. I mean, they really don't say what this means. But of course, the extra part that makes this pie chart completely incorrect is there's no Nintendo, there's no PC. If this actually included Nintendo and stuff, <laughs> this would uh, be a much differently shaped pie chart. What Microsoft is really trying to present during these presentations is they're trying to appear as weak as possible. Mm -hmm. And I think this is a smart tactic. I'm not sure it's going to work. I'm but... not strong. I'm not independent. I'm also not Dad's princess, wrong. but you're still wrong. But basically, what they're trying to do is be like, oh, we're just a, a weak, defenseless, mega trillion dollar company. We need all this uwu. -woo. If I don't get Call of Duty, I can't fight back. Oh, stop. Oh, please, I'm trying to make Halo. And as goofy as that tactic oh is, God. it's probably going to work. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that regulators who do not understand the industry might go for. Now, this article that I pulled up earlier uh, over at the front page of Games Industry Bob is this guy uh, not exactly sold on it. Christopher Dring, uh, he basically points out the fact that during this talk, he whipped out this big contract. And he's like, hey, I'm oh, Brad dang. Smith and uh, I have this. Yo, I thought he meant to say whipped out his... <laughs> Yeah, okay, contract okay. that if Sony wants to sign right now, it is a 10 year exclusivity contract. Or sorry, yeah, it's 10 a 10 years. year inclusive contract. You'll get Yo, called. Thing, okay, hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. <laughs> get them dogs, get them, pump the brakes, pump the brakes, pump, pump, pump the brakes. Y'all think 10 year deal that's justified or no? Because previously they did say that we're gonna give you five years. Okay, we, we gotta go back. We gotta go back in time. Before that. They simply said that the deal will end after Call of Duty 2024, but then they came on, they're like, five years, five years. Bruh. But then Sony's like, nah, man, that ain't good enough. Then they came on and they gave them $10 billion, uh, uh, 10 years, 10 years, not 10 billion. Now to understand the situation, I do play on Sony ponies. I play on PlayStation. Uh, and if this deal goes through and if they make Call of Duty exclusive 10 years later or something like that, I'll, I'll probably get an Xbox. But I do understand most people just want to have one console they don't want to have two consoles same same goes for me right like i wish i could sell my fat ps3 that is lying around so i could uh, if ps5 had the backwards compatibility i would have already sold my fat ps3 now to understand the situation sony is really afraid of that right because call of duty is one of those games it's like madden it's like nba it's like fifa casual gamers 
they buy that every year regardless of what i say regardless of what you say and, and think people buy call of duty every year and that's perfectly fine but 10 year deal y'all think that's justified sony is definitely afraid of that they don't want that but if let's be real like if i was the the head of microsoft i paid 70 billion dollars my guy i would have made it instantly exclusive <laughs> Call of Duty for 10 years. Now, the reason he keeps whipping this out is he says, look, at any point, they can sign it. I'll let them sign it whenever they want. I want to have Call of Duty on PlayStation. But here's the thing. This guy basically said, this is all a performance. Call of Duty is already on Steam. There's nothing stopping Activision Blizzard from putting Call of Duty on Switch. In fact, mm. Activision already puts a bunch of their games on the Nintendo Switch. Tony Hawk, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Diablo, and so on. The publisher clearly does not feel that it is worth it to put Call of Duty games on the Nintendo Switch. Additionally, they claim that 150 million people are now part of the gaming ecosystem when you allow Nintendo gamers to play COD. Again, this is a completely uh, made up number. Uh, it basically implies that every single Nintendo Switch owner would buy Call of Duty. I, I, they're, they're trying Bro, to really- like Nintendo's probably gonna do five FPS, Boom let's be real. But a lot of people are like, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. This probably means that Xbox knows something is about to happen. Maybe Xbox knows that Nintendo is gonna be coming out with like, their new console, with their next-gen consoles, and I and I do believe that, right? Because if they're gonna bring Call of Duty on Nintendo, and if that is five FPS, then that's gonna be bombocad. They present this as it's good for the gamers. Console. This article, though, has managed to piss off a lot of the Xbox people, saying, like, yeah. this is ridiculous. Only so Just say it, bots, Xbox, Sony Ponies, Xbox. Sony is opposing this deal, which is true. Uh, and this is the only case. At this point, regulators will have to decide if they care about consumers getting access or protecting the Sony market share. This is such a weird phrasing to me. They care about the consumers Bruh. getting access. Like, right now, everybody has access to Call of Duty. Selling Activision to Microsoft is not suddenly going to create higher market sales or more distribution. I guess I just don't understand. I, I see this a lot. The people Wrong. that try and claim that if Microsoft owns Call Wrong. of Duty, that suddenly more people will play it. I, I literally don't understand this, but I mean, this tweet has 32 likes. Clearly uh, people- Not wrong. wrong. Love this talking point. More yeah. people are getting access to it. Chris doesn't talk about Sony. It reminds me of bipartisan politics. Seems everyone yeah. has a team. And he's like, uh, I'm reporting on a Microsoft press conference. Sony didn't hold a press conference. Chris, <laughs> be as obtuse as you want. But in oh regards, this is what you want. You're attacking this lady for her tweets. Now, oh, I want to yeah. show you. Lulu, she went crazy. I mean, she wants that money, man. She wants the deal going through. She want to get that paycheck and peace the F out. Most of these Activision bigwigs, they are ready to ready to pull the trigger. They're ready to just peace out from Activision because this company is a disaster, man. This company is a disaster. If you're working for Activision, God bless, man. God bless, bro. I, I hope it works out. I, if it's working out, it's working out. Then, I mean, damn it, son. At least you're working. There are a lot of people that, that don't even work. Let's Bruh. just keep a buck 50 so salute salute but man this is still a disaster of a company Bruh. that lady's tweet here in a second because it's insane the fact is you've always been a player for sony that's why you get so few exclusives that jim ryan puts out <laughs> God, this, take care i only i also get exclusives Wrong. from xbox including this Wrong. article here i have never been a player for sony it's a games company not a political party it's ridiculous not a sony pony xbox you think that i'm tired of it hence me blocking all the children with x and playstation logos accusing me of this and that christopher Bruh. dream um i've reported on him in the past this guy not a lot of patience and i'm fine with that he's the head of gamesindustry.biz he reports sales numbers and mergers he does not seem to have the patience for a lot of the console war bs but i have to pull this up this is okay. i mean honestly okay. it, it's difficult to even encapsulate how freaking insane this is <laughs> this is the corporate affairs ceo for activision man lulu got no chill damn it no chill blizzard this lady is a mega mega millionaire she is way up at the top of the yep. gaming industry and in one of the biggest gaming companies and she tweeted out no chill. This meme, Sony, and it's the, the meme guy riding a bike. Sony shoves a stick into their own freaking uh, front tire, refuses to accept guaranteed long-term access to COD. <laughs> what if we lose COD? And of course, all the Xbox people are in the comments saying, hell yeah, screw PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> I know we're really getting to that point in social media where every COO and big executive and even random employees have social media, so they're going True. to post stuff. But I, this is just, I'm actually kind of impressed. This is kind of wild, but guys, this literally just happened. Click on this video on the screen because she went crazy or click the video on the left because we have some official Rage 9 video for GTA 6. Check these videos out guys and I will see you right there.